Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Dynamic Coder. So today we start with our video of adding Windows machine to EVENG. So before start your EVENG, we first need to open our EVENG in VMware virtualization. Okay, and you will see here that uh, my EVNG uh, IP is 192.168.10.128. So before, if you are installing any image on WinS on EVENG, you first need to install WinSCP. So you have to download your WinSCP file of the software from Google. You can get it very easily. I have installed it. So I'll just go to WinSCP software. You will see here the root, the I credential of my WinSCP and the IP address is similar to what IP address which is provided on my EVENG which is 192.168.10.128 I log in it with the password EVE okay, you can see here that I can able to log in my WinSCP okay so here you can see two window the first window is uh, about your uh, the folders whatever folders in your D drive in your particular laptop and this particular folder is of your WinSCP or your EVENG okay so you will see the two default windows while logging it to WinSCP so now what we need to do is that we have to install our windows image first on our PC and then we have to install the same ISO image in EVENG. Okay, so I have successfully added the link of my Google Drive in the below description. You can go through it and you can download the ISO image from the URL I have pasted. Okay, so I have downloaded it before and once you download, just do one thing that you have to create one folder name whose name is win-7 ultimate and the whole name is in lowercase character characters okay so I'll double click on it double click on it you will see here that I have added my ISO image here okay so what we need to do is that we have to drag from left hand side to right hand side here you can see here that this is showing my root directory okay when you are in root directory go for opt folder okay you can search it if you but it is definitely here okay you will go to root then opt then unit lab then add-ons then this folder and you will see here that i have already added my palo alto firewall here on my eveng so what we need to do is that we'll just drag and drop this folder from left hand side to right hand side I am pausing my video. I'll just open it once the uploading gets completed. I also have uploaded one video of how to add routers and switches in EVENG. If you haven't gone through the same video, then please go to my profile and check that. I have also added all those ISO image for the same devices as well. So you will not find any difficulty. You can download directly in the link description below which is also of my google drive and i have added the content there you can directly download it from there and you can start installing by follow the same step of how to add routers and switches in evng and you can start performing your ccn and ccnp labs from there as well so and this video is about to add windows 7 image in evng okay so it's 53 percent uploading Okay, so you will see here that so you'll see here that my that my Windows 7 machine or the folder which I was talking about has successfully pasted from left hand side to right hand side. Now what people made mistake here is that not providing permission to your ISO image. So just double click on this, right click, go to properties. And you will see here the read write permissions read write and execute permissions are not provided to this either you will select all the checkboxes the total octal count is 7777 just keep in your mind that if it is 4 times 7 
means that you have allotted all the permissions to your ISO image. Now click on OK. Okay, now you can minimize your WinSCP. Now go to your Google Chrome and type www192 or else http colon okay so this is my evng login and i have successfully logged into my evng now create a new lab i am giving as windows 7 win 7 as the lab name so here what we are going to do is we will perform a simple lab where we can able to connect the two windows machines so just right click click on node scroll down click on windows 7 so you will see here that add the number of nodes so i am adding two machines here click on save okay so i can able to see the two machines on my screen now able to connect to both of it okay here is the interface given just leave it as default click on save okay just select both start right click on it and start okay so we have start both of our windows machines double click on it Okay, just wait for a while so you'll see here both of my windows machines the default password is 123 Okay, so both the machines are ready now click on windows and type ncpa.cpl we can restart our windows machine later ncpa.cpl double click on this Okay, double click on land card go to properties click on tcp ip version 4 so let's say if i want to give the ip address as 20.1.1.1 okay and this is slash 8 click on ok and close this the same thing will follow here as ncpa dot cpl double click on your windows go to ipv4 assign ip address by yourself as 20.1.1.2 this is also slash 8 click on ok now do one thing that uh, please uh, keep your firewall as off so go to windows firewall and you can see here this is on now so double click on turn off click on turn off on both the ends windows firewall and i'll keep this both as turn off click on ok the both are turn off now i'll open my cmd and i used to check that whether i can able to communicate with the machine 2 or not so i have assigned the ip address to machine 2 as 20.1.1.2 I'll type ping then 20.1.1.2 so you can able to see that I can able to communicate on my machine 2 I'll do the same on machine 2 20.1.1.1 you can see here that the machine 1 and machine 2 can able to communicate with each other now I just want to show you the setting part that uh, what I gave it to EVENG okay so I'll go to EVENG when you right click on it go to settings and you can see here that I have given the adapter as VM net 0 and here the VM net 0 is my net I have assigned it as net so 
please check because sometimes people are performing the same steps even then they cannot able to communicate with each other or else in the later labs so it's better i recommend you to assign your network adapter as vmnet0 my net is in vmnet0 so that's why i've selected as custom so wherever you have assigned your net as uh, the in vmnet you can select as it is uh, if you follow the same then you can definitely able to uh, use evng with no issues okay so thanks for watching my video if you really like it then please subscribe to my uh, youtube channel